Hi. I'm gonna show you the new aquaponics system building. Uh, I already built one side. Uh, it's gonna be a grow bed here, another grow bed, and the fish tank here, which is really huge. But you know, I wanted to make it expandable, so maybe later on I add another grow bed back there, maybe two, maybe three. It's big enough to handle. I think maybe up to five of this size, maybe even more. So today I've been driving around getting these concrete blocks, all these bits and pieces, and uh, the PVC pipes, all the connections. And I think I got everything. I bought a pump also. All of this in my little TR, poor thing. <laughs> I had uh, 10 concrete blocks in it at one point. Look like uh, the shock absorbers were gonna go. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go through some of the stuff I've done. This is a siphon I built and uh, I just checked it, it works beautifully. I just explain briefly this is the one of the covers, this is the build cover, and this is the main part of the siphon, which as you see is just really simple. It's a um, PVC pipe, it's about um, this thing from here uh, the height of this thing is uh, 20 centimeters so I picked this to be 15 so uh, as soon as water gets to the 15 cm level it starts uh, siphoning uh, so okay that's the height of that 15 centimeters and then this is a little bit taller of course and as you see it's um, this is one inch this is a couple of inches you see yeah looks about twice as big um, couple of inches and uh, just sits there uh, like that you don't need to screw it in or anything like that and then this is the protection from all the gravel that's why the holes in this one are much smaller and there are many holes just so uh, the water can flow through and also there is one hole on the top here um, I'll show you some of the parts I've used so far where is that? Here. This here is a one inch connection. That's the one that went down here. That's this one here. And it goes in like that. So this PVC pipe gets inserted here. And down below here, there is gonna be. Um, let's see where is it? Yeah, here. There's an elbow with a thread on one, one end. And that goes like this, okay? And then a p piece of PVC pipe, like this one. Not so long. Um, as you see, can you see it from here? It goes, starts from here, and all the way there. So it's about two feet long. It depends on how far your grow bed is from your fish tank, where you're gonna drain it into. So you can just play it any way you like anyway you see fit and there's another elbow this one is not threaded on either end and uh, after you screw this in there you put this here and you don't glue these yeah you don't glue this one to here and this end also you don't glue it because you need to be able to turn this this here you need to be able to turn it if you don't get enough siphoning action you turn it up to build up some back pressure that, w that way it will start siphoning. If, it's, uh, if it doesn't stop siphoning, that means you get too much back pressure. You just turn it down to increase the flow and then it will empty the water and stop siphoning. I will demonstrate it for you in a few minutes. I just wanna, don't want to waste so much water. Okay. So, alright, I, uh, I put some of the water back in here and I'm going to demonstrate how the siphon works. As you see it's about a centimeter and a half below where it's going to start overflowing. So I'm going to cover it with this. See that? Just put it loosely and then put this also loosely and then I'm going to start putting water in there.
should start siphoning just about now. There we go. Now if it doesn't start flowing really hard, that means there's no back pressure and I gotta turn up that, uh, that elbow. There we go. That's perfect. So pretty soon I'm gonna have some goldfish in here and uh, that's gonna be nice aerated water. I'm sure they will love that. I probably hate the sound but tough life. So there's gonna be that grow bed also that's gonna go here. I'm just gonna show you how uh, what size uh, holes I use and all that. Okay, as you see the flow is slowing down a little bit and the water level is pretty low now. It's, I don't know if you can see it or not down there and it just cut off. So there we go. That's how it okay, works. We use a 32 mm hole saw right in the center of the grow bit here. Ta-da! There we go. Simple as that. And this is the piece that goes in there, so we gotta take that off. There's two rubber uh, washers. Take one of them off. Oh, I need both my hands. Like that. And the 32 mm hole is just big enough for this that you can actually screw it in and tighten it and it becomes... Uh, what do you call it? It seals. It seals itself because it's, uh, it, as you see, it's, it's like threaded. It just goes in and I can't even see that. I'm shooting something else, aren't I? There we go. That's better. Okay, it's, that's pretty tight and I'm sure it's sealed. So this one goes at the other side. Goes there. And again, everything hand tight. This one I'm gonna make it pretty tight because if it leaks, it's gonna leak outside the fish tank, which is not good. This is a nutrient for the fish and food for the fish, nutrient for the plants, all that. You don't want to waste this water basically. Okay, that's pretty tight. And yeah, now what do we do? We do one of these the elbow with a thread. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put Teflon tape here. Like I said, I don't want Teflon it to put on there. Now I'm gonna put this elbow on. And I'm gonna point it to one side, either side. I can go one more, couple of more turns. There we go. Oh, one more. Oh no. I gotta back this out. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna put a, that pipe, which is a little bit too long. I think I'm gonna cut some of it off. Uh, I gotta clean the, clean the ends. Make, this, make sure they're clean so it can rotate in here, so I can adjust the back pressure. Also, same thing for the other side. Take this thing out, this uh, uh, one-inch PVC pipe, just to measure it, because I want to do the other one exactly the same size. Let me measure it so I can tell you exactly how tall it is, how long it is, I mean. It is uh, 13 and a half centimeters, but you know this all depends on the depth of your grow bed, so... Uh, when, you, when I put this in here and press it all the way down, when I press it down, uh, it's five centimeters lower than the edge of the grow bed, so there. Now I'm gonna put this one in here. Another thing I should point out is this one, I just cut this one, and I'm gonna drill the holes down here. Um, when it sits on top of this, it sits loosely like that, you see? And it doesn't really touch the bottom of the grow bed. It's uh, about half a centimeter up from it. It sits on this uh, edge here. So, as you see, it's about uh, two or three centimeters. The, end, the top of this cap is higher than this, this hole. So that's where the water will go, go in and swish down there. 
So now I'm going to use a 12 mm hole saw and make holes like this all around it evenly, very easy. Just like that, very easy. So this is the last part of the siphon. That's the big piece that goes around all of it, like so. I had marked same height as this one, as you see. So I'm gonna cut here. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight because you need some water, a lot of water, to go through anyway. So if it's crooked, no problem, yeah, just I'm cut. Gonna, I'm gonna drill uh, holes all over it with the, I think it's a 5 mm or 6 mm drill bit. Nothing to it. It just can be so big that the gravel will go through this. You want to keep the gravel out of this siphon. And this is what it's going to look like with uh, both grow beds. And both drains go right into the fish tank. Let me also explain how the water pump connections are. Um, this is going to go to the water pump and this one uh, with, the, with the hose, with this green hose. Uh, and then from here to there also it's going to be a green hose and here and this one and that one go like this I'm going to drill a hole in the side here so it's going to go in like this um, I don't like to mix plastic with metal especially this metal is really crappy it actually ruins the threads on the plastic but I had no choice I want to finish this thing tonight so I bought whatever was available 20 millimeter hole saw. That's what I drill this hole with. So I run that through, and then I'm gonna uh, put some Teflon tape around here, and then put this like that. So I just connected both water inlets there, and also, as you might see here, there's a T connection that's gonna go to the pump. So this is our pump. Just got it today. Uh, it is um, maximum head is three meters, maximum output 3500 liters per hour, which is plenty, I'm sure. And power is 60 watts. I think that's a little too much. I would have preferred to have something a little bit lighter, maybe 10 or 15 watts. But anyway, it should do the uh, serve the purpose. And especially if we expand, like add three more grow beds, we're gonna need something like this. So all is well. I just plug it in and I'd say that's just about the right amount of water that's coming out. Maybe a little bit too much. There's a dial on the pump where I can turn it up and down. I think it might be all the way down. I'll just try that. See if I can electrocute myself. Ah oh yeah, that made it less. That's perfect. So we'll just wait for it to siphon. I'm just going to make sure that both siphons work properly and then I'm going to add the grow media and this, uh, the pellets. Okay, I'm very lucky with these. They're so hard to find in, uh, in Penang. In fact, uh, there was only one place that had them and I told them this is for charity so they gave it to me really cheap. This whole bag uh, for 50 ringgits and if I want more I can go back and get some more from them. Uh, that's a hell of a bargain. Got really lucky with that. So I'm gonna fill these up in a minute, wash those pebbles should go just about now. Waiting. As you might see here, this water is... Oh, there we go. This left one started first. Let's see if it siphons completely. Yeah. Full flow, excellent. Now the other one should also follow. There we go. How oh, beautiful. So simple. And hey, you see it's not not catching. Just barely. Oh, there he goes. But if I just turn this up a little bit, just 
ever so slightly like that, it will help it. It will help it start. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Simple and functional. By the way, this whole thing cost around uh, 320 ringgit so far. Then I gotta get some goldfish and uh, probably another. It probably cost around 400 altogether. And I started, it's uh, quarter to six now. I started about three o'clock, I think. So about three hours to put this whole thing together. How can you go wrong with that? You can grow your own vegetables, have a little bit of fish, and feel good about all of it. So here's the finished product. And these, I'm germinating some seeds. There's lettuce and there's cucumbers. I'm leaving in about eight days, so I needed to get this going really quick. So I started the germination last night. Hopefully, uh, they will start coming out in a couple of days. So I can throw them in there and there and leave them with these people that I'm doing this for. Actually, I'm doing this for an orphanage house. Uh, it's something the kids can get involved with, and hopefully, they will love it and see the fish and see the plants grow and. Uh, you know, get inspired to get into this sort of thing. Or if not, just eat some fresh veg veggies. And the system is new. It's it's. Uh, I added the fish about four days ago. Two days later, I added the plant. So the nutrients in the grow beds they're not really uh, to the point where they should be. But still, everything's growing like crazy. I notice a little bit of yellowness compared to the ones in the soil. And that's got to be because of some deficiencies, especially iron. But everything else is fine. The fish are very happy. And uh, everything's working out great. Couldn't be happier with this, really.